My name is Dr. Daniel Masqua. It teaches young people here about who they are and their right to find out who they are and to practice who they are. That's why that's why they're they're at ease here. That's why it's that's why it's successful. That's why we're graduating from from three or four students and a year to, to 25 and 30 and 40 and even 50 students. That's the whole that's the whole premise of the success. We promote education to our students, to our young people. If you have a member in your family that goes to high school, or your mother or your father goes to high school, or university, your children will go to university, your children will finish high school. And that's 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 the greatest the greatest example we have in this in this in this in this school here. This is not only just an institution, it's like a home. It's like a home. The students that the students that are here are very friendly to one another. And so that he got a mushroom and go come over here. I I I'm the I'm the grandfather, I'm the I'm the father, I'm the parent, I'm the one who listens to your to your grief, to your sorrows, to your to your happiness, to your happiness. And I and I praise and I praise your I praise these young your young people for doing what you're doing. Cause there's no other place like this in the country. I have a lot of good friends here and I know most of the teachers really well. So this Oskayak is basically like my second home. Being a mom that is breastfeeding her child and only wanting what is best for her and knowingly having her in the daycare is good. It's good and uh, early breakfast here when we come early, it's awesome. <laughs> Going to sweats and like I said doing smudging and also I started singing more of my my cultural songs when I first started coming here it's because they have drums and they let they just let me sing whenever I want and it's pretty good I kind of figure out who I am and what I want to do gone from schools where I was the only First Nations person and coming here I feel more at home and more welcomed and more a part of a family rather than the other schools where I felt disincluded from everyone. My aspiration in life is to be to be successful and to be happy so I know by doing that I have to reach for my goals and my goals in life is to be a lawyer because I want to help my people so in five years I hope to see myself maybe in law school or maybe working on my masters or something something in that higher education I hope to see myself. I believe uh, just finding myself in general was enough for me to accomplish what I want in life, believing in myself, believing in who I am, my abilities and the things I want to do and I, I feel like I can accomplish anything I want and it's, um, it's an amazing feeling. I think that's what's most important and other than that, Oskayak really gives you the skills and knowledge and uh, to success in life and to move on into post-secondary and achieve whatever degree I see fit and um, yeah it, it prepares you very well. I was I was really bothered a lot by by like the by the inner demons I guess and and when I came here and started like finding my culture I started to be I started to find myself within the culture and it's and it helped me a lot throughout these years and you know Skyak is the reason why I kept on going to school. My experience at Uskayak while I was attending, it was a great experience. Um, family atmosphere, the, the cultural aspect, but it was just great, like just a great place to go. They made it really easy for me. They, they well, they, we did trips, we did, um, they had visitors, they had, um, was it uh, TAs and people that from that came from the U, U, the U of S? They just basically they basically gave me the tools to come to the U of S. They showed me how to fill up the form. They showed me <clears throat> the lifestyle of a university student. They 
brought me to the ASC and it just made me really comfortable to come here and feel like I was not the only one. So you were well prepared? Yes, I was well prepared. Yeah, yeah. Sixty-one percent of First Nations young adults in Canada have not completed high school. This is 48 percent higher than the average Canadian citizen. First Nations youth are the fastest growing demographic in Canada. Their population grew 3.5 times faster than the non-First Nations population in 2006 and continues to grow exceeding other populations in the country. The Canadian Centre for the Study of Living Standards calculates that 71.1 billion will be added to Canada's economy annually if First Nations people attain the same educational levels as other Canadians. Facts show that high schools are failing First Nations young people. It is said that we are more likely to go to prison instead of graduating high school. Oskayak High School has proven to be a successful education system for First Nations people. From 2010 to 2014, we have attributed a 71% enrollment increase, 27% attendance increase, 50% credit completion increase, and finally, 600% graduation rate increase over the course of four years. These statistics will continue to grow annually. Ninan Oskai Sinawak Awa Niga Nimiya Awa Niga Nimiya